Apples? Bushed. Number three, cooking the books gate. You'll recall that the Congressional Budget Office released a report this week saying the United States paid $85 billion to for-profit contractors in the Iraq war through the end of last year. If you add in the spending from this year, you hit about $100 billion. If that sounds like a lot, it is. But even that shockingly high number is apparently billions of dollars too low. A taxpayer watchdog group pointing out today that the price tag released this week includes only contractors within Iraq. It doesn't include contractors within the United States. For example, $22 billion for 15,000 privately produced armored vehicles, and $13 billion per year to privately rehabilitate worn out equipment. Of course, our troops deserve the very best equipment, but we deserve a fair accounting. But wait, that's not all. The $85 billion figure also does not include $35 to $42 billion from the classified intelligence budget, nor does it include more than $10 billion lost to contract fraud. Do me a favor, Google the phrase Truman Commission. Number two, kangaroo court gate. Turns out that even the military jurors in the Guantanamo trial of Osama bin Laden's driver were kept in the dark about those proceedings. Those jurors, a panel of six military officers, gave Salim Hamdan a sentence of five and a half years. With credit for time served, Hamdan would be eligible for release in December. But even then, at the end of his sentence, the White House asserts the right to keep Hamdan in prison as an enemy combatant. One juror said, quote, after all the effort we put in to get somebody a fair trial, and then you say no matter what we did, it didn't matter, I don't see that as a positive step. The jurors were not told that Hamdan might be kept in prison beyond his sentence until after the trial ended. And number one, not really fighting terrorism gate. Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl was murdered in 2002. Four men were convicted of his murder in Pakistan. But as many as 19 more suspects are thought to still be at large in the case. While the FBI denies closing the Pearl case, a group of undergrads at Georgetown University, led by a professor who was a colleague of Pearl's at the Wall Street Journal, have themselves figured out the real identities of 15 of those 19 at-large suspects. The professor, Azra Nomani, says, quote, the FBI says this is an open investigation, but in talking to officials, it's clear there's no work being done on the ground. So because our FBI isn't working on Daniel Pearl, Pearl's murder anymore, Pearl's friends are left trying to solve the case with help of undergraduate journalism students. This is what you call a war on terror?